Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing on this fine Wednesday afternoon? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a little bit of a hodgepodge of a video again. <laughs> uh, first thing we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a 12 loop funky bow to go onto my mailbox that will match these florals to a T. And I'll explain more of this in just a minute. And uh, that matches the mailbox box cover that Chris already walked out there earlier today. Uh, we will put the mailbox together off camera and then I'll show you pictures of it uh, toward the end of the video or toward before I morph in to more footage of some past spring. I pulled off some different stuff this time that I think you guys are going to really like to see. Uh, a purple wreath that I made one time that's really pretty for the purple bedroom. I kind of re retooled it. I've got that and some other things I think you guys will like. But you guys have really been liking looking back on uh, some of my old creations and seeing how my decorating or crafting has changed through the years, which it really hasn't changed that much. I've just kind of, you know, use different colors and do different things, but I use the same techniques, you know. So, but anyway, uh, I am really happy to bring you that. And then I have to tell you, I'm not going to be back on Friday. Chris and I are going out of town. But I will be back over the weekend, one of the weekend days, probably Saturday or Sunday, with an Easter deconstruction. We have not started that yet. We have been super busy, have not even started deconstruction. We're going out of town tomorrow, so I will not have time to, I won't have time to do the footage to bring it to you on Friday. Friday will actually be here, and that is when I will do all the footage and then bring you the video Saturday or Sunday, depending on how long it takes me to edit it. So I just wanted to let you know about that, but we are going out of town tomorrow. So it's kind of put a monkey wrench into my, into my week, but that's okay. We can adjust, right? We can adjust. <laughs> and I always tell myself, Arlen, don't get so set in your ways that you can't adjust. You know, you always have to be able to adjust and to try to do it with grace, which I have problems doing. You guys, I'm not very graceful. I'm very kind of OCD-ish and that I like to do things the way I like to do them and when I like to do them. Uh, but yeah, I'm working on that. I'm working on being graceful in my adjustments. <laughs> uh, then I, I will, after, before we go into that video footage. I will look for questions. I know I had a couple, but I answered them in the comments underneath the question, but I, I can't remember. I'm, I'm just going to check for those just to make sure that I don't think it's something that everybody would want to know. So anyway, let me turn my camera and we're going to get started doing this funky bow and I'm going to explain it to you. So let me get my turn, camera turned. All right. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay. As I said, all of this is going to match these florals to a T, and then this is the scotch card I use. Here are the three ribbons I'm going to use for this bow, two of which are from perpetualribbons.com. And you can just take a screenshot, boy, it kind of got worn off there, didn't it? Or you can look this up on the perpetualribbons.com website. Uh, there's perpetualribbons.com. This is where I get a lot of my ribbon from, Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. She's so good to me. And then to match this, I've chosen a pink. You can see. And this one is also from Bobby. And then this yellow, I don't remember where I got this, but this matches too. Bobby had sent me a yellow and I couldn't put my hands on it, so I just pulled this out of my coffers. Bobby does have one very, very similar to this. This may have been from Bobby. This may have been something that I purchased from Bobby, actually. I think it might have been, and she didn't write on it because I purchased it. So usually she writes on what she sends me. Anyway, you can check for that at Perpetual Ribbons. I'm sure the yellow is probably there somewhere. Anyway, all right. Now, as I said, as I'm, I'm going to be making a 12-loop funky bow. And I want, I've got myself a pipe cleaner too. I've got myself a tape measure and scissors. Uh, and I've got 12 strips of ribbon. And the reason I have them piled like this is because I'm going to be doing this in a different pattern than I normally do. I really want, I want the floral ribbon 
to be the dominant ribbon in this bow. In other words, I want the pink and the yellow ribbon to kind of take a back seat, you know, to the, to the floral. So therefore I've cut twice as many strips of the floral ribbon as I did the pink and the yellow ribbon. So I've got six pieces of the floral ribbon, six strips of the floral ribbon, and six, three strips of the pink and three strips of the yellow. So I'm gonna have six loops that which each strip equals one loop in the in the 12 loop funky bow. So six strips of floral, three strips of pink, and three strips of yellow. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna tell you what else I'm gonna do and just as how I'm gonna put it together. And then I have two longer strips here. One will be a strip that I put right up against the, the loops of the bow in the back. And this is what I will pull around the mailbox to tie it on the mailbox, to tie the bow on the mailbox. And then this will be for tails, okay? So the long piece goes on first and then the tails go on. As I said, I've got these cut at 22 inches long. That is my favorite length nowadays to cut my, my strips is 22 inches long. You'll see in those past videos that I do them sometimes at 24, sometimes at 26, sometimes at 18, sometimes at 20, but I really, really enjoy them at 22 inches. That gives me about the perfect uh, length of loop with the loops being six inches and the tails. So let's start out here with a floral. I'm gonna fold it right in half, and I'm gonna find six inches on the measuring tape. I'm gonna pinch it together right at that spot, and I'm gonna point that loop up from center. My thumb, if you can picture my thumb, as being the center of the bow, okay? And then the second piece I'm gonna put, in, that just happens to be a solid pink piece, six inches, and point that, loop up from center. So we're gonna point the first two loops up from center. Go to that back and twist so we can, at first anyway, all of the, the tails will be headed the uh, right, if you will, direction. All right, so here we go to the next floral. Fold it in half, go to six inches, and this time we're gonna turn it down from center. You see that? down from center. Next one is the yellow one. And you can see how I have arranged them so that I don't have a pink and yellow necessarily next to one another when I go down or up. And you'll see what I mean when I pick up the next one. There we go, down from center. Oops, what's that back tail? And here we go. Now this time, you can see I have another yellow one there, but this time we're gonna switch it and go up from center. So I have switched how I've done this this time, and that is by design. I didn't want two yellows going down together, two pinks going down up together, or two of the florals going up beside one another together. So I kind of mixed it up and made sure that when I was gonna be pointing the solid color up especially, it was not going to be beside another solid color. See that? Whoops. <laughs> kind of came apart, didn't it? And it all will go to get, will flow together when, you know, I go to fluff it, but at least to begin with, it's going to be a more mixed up bow. So this time we're going to go down from center again, six inches and point it down, the loop down from center. This is such pretty ribbon. Just love this. And pink one. Down from center. Okay. Now we're going to be pointed up from center. And as you can see, my hand is not cramping at all because I let them slip back into the crook of my fingers and I'm letting up on it a little bit. See that? I'm letting up on it. And my hand is not cramping, so I feel pretty good about that. 
Okay, now next, this is the piece that is going to go pull this whole bow up against the, it's gonna sit up like that, you know, up against the back of the mailbox. There's the center. I'm gonna actually plaster that right on the back of the bow, kind of lift my fingers and put it right on the back of the bow like that. And that will pull, pull this bow this way. And then this is for a couple of tails and I'm gonna put the right side up against the bottom, right like this. And, and according it and in, just like the others. And then those, that will serve as the two tails. See that? Now we take the pipe cleaner, lay it beside your thumb, lift your thumb, pull it around the bottom, the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. And kind of release it, but pull your hand around, see that? And squeeze. And then Use this hand as resistance, pull against the pipe cleaner and twist, 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 twist. Okay? So that looks like a hot mess right now, doesn't it? But you can tell which ones of these tails will go around the back. You can see the longer ones. We'll, we'll tie this on and then this will be the tails in the front. So all we need to do now is fluff this bow. Fluff, 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 fluff. And you're gonna see that I'm gonna have more floral. The floral is gonna dominate this bow. The pink and the yellow is gonna take more of a back seat. And that's exactly the way I designed it to be. I'm just gonna fluff here, probably go into fast motion a little bit because this takes me a little while. There we go, that's getting there. And as I said, I'll finish it when I get it out to the mailbox. You'll see it in its finished state out there, it'll be pretty. Isn't that pretty though? That is gonna make a big statement along with those florals. Look how pretty that looks with those florals. Can't go wrong with that. Love it. All right, let me turn my camera here and we will check for some questions. Okay, I have one four days ago. Gee whiz, Charlotte, I'm so sorry about this and I did not answer you underneath your comment. I just, this is the first time I've seen your comment, Charlotte, I'm so sorry. I will answer you here underneath of it just in case you don't watch this video. Here we go, I answered you there. And you said, where did you get your computer chair? Have been trying to find one. Love your show. Well, thank you so much, Charlotte. And I'm sorry it took me four days to answer your question. My goodness gracious. Uh, I Yeah, I didn't show that. I'll show that here in a minute. I got that at Amazon. Yeah, we did. We got it at Amazon. And I have it linked in my Amazon shop. And it's uh, in the gift idea box. When you go into it, when you click on the link in my Amazon shop, which is always available in the description box, you'll see that I have gift idea boxes. And... The chair is in the Arlen's Computer Corner gift idea box. So just click on it and you should be able to find it right in there. Yeah, it wasn't cheap. I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you straight out, it wasn't cheap. It's a nice, big, sturdy, comfortable chair. So we did, I did splurge a little bit on the chair. More than the desk or anything, any of the other accents, the chair was the, because I think it's the most important thing. You know, I, I need to be comfortable where I'm sitting and working for hours on end, so. Anyway, okay, let's see. Oh, Terry, you commented. Terry Davis commented. Uh, I just put a heart on this. Well, good grief. Do you suppose folks monitor their shopping habits? I think not. <laughs> Happy your Easter was a good one. Yeah, I doubt they do. I doubt they monitor themselves, Terry. <laughs> and let's see. Uh, this is why I wore this kimono actually today. I cannot, this like, this was Lynn Hampton. Hi, Lynn, don't let those negative people that have been mean, that have the mean things to say. You are too kind and sweet for people. I don't have my glasses on, can you tell? <laughs> for people to be mean. Oh, little Maverick is so adorable. He was so cute when he said, uh-oh, I have a question. Where do you get all your pretty jackets, especially the long ones? The jacket with the pretty purple flowers you had on at Easter was lovely. I am enjoying these videos. Thank you so much for the final words today. I needed them. Take care. God bless you and your family. Well, God bless you too, Lynn. 
And I got this at a place, I believe it was collections.com. Unfortunately, I have checked and checked and they have not gotten these back in. I have one in purple, one in blue, one in red. And they were, oh my goodness, they were dirt cheap, you guys. And this, these are two X's. So unfortunately, these particular ones, the red one, the blue one, and this one, I cannot give you links for or really anything that I buy because I haven't purchased other than what I just purchased for Amazon a couple weeks ago. I do have them linked in my fashion box and, you, and I do have some kimonos linked in there. And uh, other than that, I usually will go to avenue.com. That is a plus size lady. Uh, used to have brick, brick and mortar stores, but they don't anymore. Uh, but I do buy from there sometimes. I do buy from Dress Barn. Not very often, though. Their website isn't as nice as it used to be, I don't think. Uh, they no longer have brick and mortar stores either. But in fact, I haven't purchased from Dress Barn, I think, since they went all online. So, But I do go there and look sometimes. Also, Torrid, T-O-R-R-I-D, Torrid.com, another plus-size lady. Nice, really nice place. I got, uh, the. I don't know whether y'all remember the red one, the really long rebel with the velvet that I wore for formal night on the ship. Let me see if I can find a picture of it here. That one I got from Torrid, and I got a long jacket that I wear sometimes. It's got kind of peachy florals. The long one, though, I have one that's short-waisted I got from Torrid, and long that I also got from Torrid. So... Uh, I, boy, I tell you, it, you have to be, you know, I don't care for Catherine's. I don't fear, care for women within so much. I had a really bad experience. Although some of you have told me that they've improved with their shipping, but it was, I had a terrible experience with them. So I tend not to go there, uh, or to women within. So, but that's where I get things. And that's my last, wait a minute. I might not be my last question. Jerry Webb asks, Arlen, just one question. Where do you get your glue dots? And after you use them on a project that's not permanent, can they be reused? Uh, I got, the, again, I get them from Amazon. And again, they're in a gift idea box in my Amazon storefront named Craft Accents, I think. Craft, I'll put it up here. I'll type it here and let you know what it is. Craft Accents. Yeah, I just get them. They're not expensive. I just get them right there from Amazon and then always in Amazon Prime and they always come quick. Uh, do I, you might be able to reuse them again if you really needed to. I tend not to. I tend to pick them off and put them in a big ball and throw them away. That's what I do. I, 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 I prefer to go ahead and get new, new, uh, glue dots out when I do an, another project. So, I mean, I, they probably still have some sticky quality to them though. You could try it. I'm not going to guarantee that they would work as well for you though. So, but anyway, all right, that's it. That's all the questions I see. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down. And again, I'm going to remind you, we will not be, I will not be back on Friday, but instead we'll be back on Saturday or Sunday of the weekend. And then we will start, that will be at my deconstruction and then we will start on Monday, uh, probably with me doing a centerpiece of some sort. Maybe the mantle might start with the mantle, where I always start, actually, where I started, you know. But this isn't a new decorating series. I'm just going to do, you know, a spring design for up there. Probably not too different than what it looks like right now. So it's not going to be a big old switch out uh, between now and when I start doing my patriotic. It's just going to be little little things here and there. Okay. All right. And I will try to compile some more of that footage if you're interested as we go through the seasons. I will continue to do that as we go through the seasons for a while here. So if I have any more spring, I may add some of that footage at the end. But anyway, I'm going to hush right now because I've talked a long time and we did a bow. So I have like 20 more minutes of footage. So I'm going to hush. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, if y'all wouldn't mind subscribing, I would sure appreciate it. My numbers have started to click up a little bit uh, from the other day and I appreciate it if I could see them really take a big boost, really take a big jump. Please subscribe if you haven't and you've been watching me for a while. Please take take the plunge and, and hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me and it helps me reach more people where I can hopefully, you know, bring more positivity into some folks' lives and put some smiles on some faces. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell. And when you click that bell, it'll have a drop down menu and hit all on the notifications. And uh, then click like and then share with your friends and family. 
do check out Country Sampler's uh, Instagram account. They've been sharing some of my stuff. Thank you to Country Sampler. Thank you so much for doing that. I so appreciate it. And if you've seen my shorts, uh, my short little videos, my one minute videos and my reels, what I call my reels, they are, uh, they were at the behest of the Country Sampler social media associate. Um, that's why I've been doing that. One lady said it was too fast for you, uh, but I'm doing them because she asked me to do them and to, and I've been putting some of them on uh, YouTube, but there are a couple of more that you might not have seen. Those of you who just watched me on YouTube, there are some more on Instagram. So go, go check me out on Instagram, Arlen's Country Craft Corner on Instagram. <sighs> Follow me everywhere if y'all want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'll go into my final words and say, say thank, thank you all so much for stopping in here today. And for those of you who might be struggling and suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, stay tuned for this, for a picture of the mailbox, of course, a couple of pictures, and for that footage of, of past craft designs. I think you'll like them, you know, and vignettes and decorates with me's and things like that. I think you'll enjoy that. But anyway, until next time, probably over the weekend sometime, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. We'll find extra x-ray. Extra x-ray. Good job, Maverick. You found extra x-ray. P for paint. You got it, Maverick. P for paint. Yay, Maverick. You're so smart. Yay. Come on, Maverick. Let's get another one. Thank you, Maverick. Good job, man. You're so smart.
let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the ladder as is, honestly. And...
don't know, for several years. And I didn't know when I made this wreath, I didn't know there was such a thing as off-white or cream burlap. And I knew I didn't want to use deco mesh, but I knew I wanted to use this bunny. I don't even know that you can tell that there's a bunny on this. There she is, a little Boyd's bunny that I put a new tie on, or you know, tied a ribbon around her neck and added purple in and all this stuff and made a pretty, you know, tiered bow. This is before I did the funky bow. Well, every time I looked at this wreath after I hung it up, it's pretty. It's a pretty wreath, don't get me wrong. It's very pretty, but the bunny blends in to this wreath too much. So therefore, I'm going to remove all of the accent pieces, add cream burlap, like I did for the wreath above my mantle. This is much the same concept here. I'm just gonna add it right into this burlap. It's gonna be a big, flouncy, big, thick, nice, wreath when I'm done and then I'm going to add the accent pieces. with how this worked out. This little bunny sitting in here, just as cute as could be with her little feet hanging out, just sitting in the meadow of lavender. Huh? <laughs>